Sanders with Jackson State. Good morning, Coach. How you doing, everybody? Doing great, Coach. As always, thank you so much for taking some time to join us. Please just start us out with an opening statement previewing your upcoming matchup in the SWAC Championship versus Purview a and First of all, we're elated and we're excited to be in the championship. That's a testimony to our coaches and our, our young men, our whole organization and uh, what we've uh, accomplished and our goals being set early in the, even in the spring. We, we, we felt like we would be at this moment. Um, our opponents are more than worthy. They're really good, they're physical, um, they're fast, uh, they're tough. Um, they're really coached well. And I look forward to this matchup. It's gonna be a wonderful matchup right here at our home stadium. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy, I'm, I'm really excited about this. I really am. Thank you for those opening comments, Coach. We'll open it up for questions for Coach Sanders. First question goes to Charles Bishop. Good morning, Coach, how you doing? Why does Charles always get the first question? I just want to know why does Charles always get the first question? Now, who is Charles fan? Who doesn't know? Like, what is going on? Just, just because he's here every moment, you know, on the sideline every day, he shouldn't get the first darn question every time. But no, no, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Mr. Bishop. And I like the little zip up. I like the new look that you got. But oh, thank you, it. Coach. Appreciate that. Appreciate it, Coach. I, I wanted to ask, and, and you've said this from uh, the – from the start, uh, that uh, you knew what was under the tree. Uh, is there any sort of personal uh, of indication for uh, where you are or where Jackson State is in terms of getting to the sweat championship? No, it's not anything personal. I believe like that. I mean, you, you see it on the wall behind me. I, I really genuinely do. Uh, I believe in our coaches 100%. I know the, the work that they put into it, the, the kids they went out and, and recruited and we closed on, um, the practice habits. Um, the things that we tolerate, things we won't tolerate. And, and I knew what we had. I just couldn't wait to unveil it. And we have been a, it, it's been a blessing that we've been able to do what we sought out to do. But the, be, the, the worst thing about it, we're probably about 70% of what we could possibly be. Um, I love the recruiting class that we have. Oh, my God. The recruiting class that we have coming in, the potential – Chinese, the guys that I know that are going to commit, um, it's, it's going to be <laughs> it's going to be something to behold. It really is. I, I, I can't wait to see how much better we are and how much uh, we gain even in the spring because we're going to work our butts off this spring as well. And, and Coach, follow up to that, and you mentioned practice habits. Was there a practice, was there a game where you looked at this team and knew that it was a championship caliber team? No, I looked at this team and got mad at this team several times at practice in a game. Uh, especially the line on both sides. <laughs> I did that. But no, I, I, I trust our coaches and I know what we have. Um, our kids, uh, they didn't buy in. They're committed. They're committed 100% and to believe. They just got to go out there and truly believe in alignment, assignment, and responsibility. And we're good. When we're on, uh, we're only been, we've only been on one game, like offense, defense, special team. And that was, uh, I believe, Alabama A&M. We were really on. We're waiting to be on once again. We hadn't been on like that since. Yes, sir. Appreciate that, Coach. Thank you, sir. And I appreciate you being first. <laughs> Thank you. Next up, we'll take a question. From